will give as your brother, your mind, and with all due respect. If some of you come to young one doom a little tacky, tacky for gift, time, and place of prayer, I say that with love. This is the time when you're supposed to look in your closet and take out your best suit, your best coupe here and presses. This is not the baseball game or the basketball game. This is not a matter of life appearance. Why? And as you put on your best clothing, then you should repeat the two eyes that we learned from the members of the Lord. Some of them all who are they were some of them when he would put on his best clothing and he would say, Oh Allah, make my inside beautiful as you have made my outside beautiful. So remind yourself, oh man, the, the, the sisters, our sisters in Islam. You see them coming every Juma, plus and beautiful. Distinctive in their appearance as Muslim women. And we, as their brothers, we must compliment them in our appearance. Don't dress on Yama Juma like you dress any other day of the, of, the, uh, of, of the week. This is not the son of the message of Allah, alayhi salam, and it violates what Allah has said when he tells us, where your beautiful clothes to every time and place of prayer, and I hope you hear me. I hope to see a, a, a qualitative change in the collective appearance of the Zalat by this. And I know you say, wow, man, your mom, boy, you got a lot of nerves. No, I don't. I don't have any nerves. I'm just here to remind you of that which you can do. Because I know you've read that verse in the Quran. And, uh, and so I would have to assume that you forgot it. But it's my job to remind you. We're on Yama Juma. We're supposed to bathe, put on our best clothing. If you're a brother, you're supposed to put on a little oil so you smell nice. And pay particular uh, attention to your appearance, but then during the month of Ramadan, we're supposed to pay particular attention to our internal state and our internal appearance. Why? Out of Papua. What is Papua? Fear of Allah. <laughs> but Papua, Papua is not uh, just fear in the sense of uh, like health. Health is fear of Allah in terms of being in dread of the consequence of disobeying Allah because you know that no one can punish like Allah. No one can deal out punishment like Allah. I mean, we go through changes to avoid being punished by man, but man's punishment is nothing compared to Allah's punishment. So how is fear of Allah that stems from awe of him and, 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 and a, a, a genuine uh, uh, dire concern for the consequence of disobeying? But Takwa, Takwa is a little different type of thing. Takwa is the fear of reverence. Takwa is the fear of awe. Takwa is that feeling that one can only grow in the heart out of love and awe and respect and reverence for the creator of the heaven. Love for a lot bit out of me. Or and dread of my Ethiopian. This is Takwa. And Takwa from the Arab word Takwa. Takwa is also a barrier. Takwa is when you take your awe and your reverence.
reverence for the one whom you love above anyone else and all else. The Muslim is supposed to love Allah more than anyone else and above all else. The Muslim is supposed to fear Allah above anyone else and above all else. When likewise, when you take your fear and you place that fear in between you and transgression. Takwa is when you get ready to disobey Allah, you say, well, I want to do that, but I ain't going to do it because I fear Allah. Takwa is when you want to say something, the thought occurs to you and it jumps right to the tip of your tongue. And you get ready to say it, but you say, no, I'm not going to say that out of fear of Allah. Why do we fast during the month of Ramadan? We fast out of taqwa. Why did Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say we should fast? He said we should fast if we want to acquire taqwa. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, we fast with taqwa. The clothing of taqwa, he said, is higher, is best. But the Prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Allah's messenger, said, Taqwa is a name here. And he pointed to the death three times. He said, it's a name here. He said, it's a name here. What is the clothing of the heart? What is that which unifies the heart? It is the fear of God. Oh, you who believe. I said that we should pay close attention to our external appearance. People who follow other ways of life, they should be able to see the Muslim or the Al-Majuma and say, oh, one, he or she is a Muslim, and two, they must be on their way to worship. When you see the Christians on, on Sunday, isn't that what you say when you see them? You say, oh, man, they have one of their, quote, Sunday death, unquote. And, man, I can tell by the way they look here. I can, I know where they're going, they're going to church. Not church, church. Well, people should be able to look it up and tell the same thing. Away from a lot of people look it up. They don't know where we're going or where we come from. But we know don't come from a lot of going back to a lot. For you who worship Allah. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam 